so let's so talk to me a little bit. We had talked um, just kind of like just before about, you know, uh, let's talk about the mechanics of the reverse mortgage a little bit as far as uh, so people understand um, that there's actually no mortgage loan payment. Right. Okay. So so let's just talk about that um, so that there is no loan payment. Right. So it's a reverse mortgage. Right. It's uh, it's you know, which you kind of, I have to kind of wrap my head around that sometimes, right. yeah. um, but there is no payment. So let's, so talk to me a little bit about that and how that works. Um, there is no payment. <laughs> <laughs> no payment. But let's, let's go a little bit deeper than that. <laughs> uh, well, what happens? What happens? So what, happens on the back end? <laughs> so what happens is, so what happens is, let's say, let's go, let's keep using that same, same example where you, you had a hundred thousand dollar balance. I think the big question people ask is, wait, there's no payment, so how does the bank make money, right? Very good question. That's another question that I would have. How, how does the bank money? So I think these go hand in hand. So let's say, for example, in the one we just talked about, you have a $100,000 balance that you start with because that was what you had to pay off in the traditional mortgage. Well, every single year, like your line of credit that we talked about that goes up by 6%, the negative, the negative what they call a neg am, you know what those are, where it actually adds to the balance of the loan. Every year, if that interest rate is at 6%, well, the next year it's gonna be at 106,000 that is technically owed to the bank. Next year after that, will be 106 plus 6%, plus 6%, plus 5%, plus 4%, whatever that prevailing interest rate is, gets added to the balance. So when the bank does get their money and how they get their money is, again, you either pass away and they sell the house and collect their funds, your, your uh, heirs buy the house, that's how they collect their money as well. So they keep chewing into at 6% one year, 5% the next, 3% the next, 4% the next. They keep adding to that balance. That's how they get their money back. I see. Okay. 